Hi guys, thanks for joining me. Um, some of you may be aware that uh, last week I did a video about the P47D, the Hobby Boss, uh, which was the Razorback one. And in that video, what I did was I showed the, the box uh, and then I showed the, the two alternatives that you can build from that box. So I thought I would do a similar thing with this uh, Revel, a P47D Thunderbolt. This is the bubble top. Um, this um, kit is my favourite of the P47s, 172nd P47s. Um, I just really, really love this kit. Um, and I've built, I've used it as a, as a base for displaying nose art of other P47s, not just the ones within this box. So basically I build it and then uh, get some aftermarket decals and then um, using this as the base put those decals on on that uh, build so what I'll do is um, I'll grab the the two uh, kits that I've built from this box set and we'll have a look at them so here's the first of two this is the one from the box art this is balls out um, and this was uh, of the 509th fighter squadron 405th fighter group flown by captain Milt Thompson in France 1945 um, I haven't checked that to verify it. I'm just reading that from the instructions as I say this uh, rebel kit for me is, is well it is my favorite um, p47 to, to build uh, it goes together really nicely um, I don't know what I used for them the natural metal finish on this uh, but it, it didn't turn out too bad you can see some reflection there which is quite good which is what we're looking for um, olive drab um, anti-glare on the on the, the uppermost uh, part of the fuselage and then just some red trims around um, the the decal uh, the, the large decal on the nose art there that was a bit of a, a swine to to actually get it to com conform to the uh, surface I think I may have actually cut it in two um, to, to do and possibly even um, snipped it a bit to, to, to get it to conform but uh, yeah, really pleased to have this in in the collection. Um, so we'll just uh, we'll just go to the other one now, and it's a slightly unusual um, scheme for 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 an aircraft uh, of of this period. Um, so we'll we'll grab that one and have a look at that. So this is the alternative decal option for, from the box, and this vehicle um, is uh, from. GC two stroke five Lafayette, Army de l'Air, Ambirion, France nineteen forty four. Again, I haven't uh, checked to to confirm whether that is correct, but uh, this one's in um, all over olive drab with like a natural grey, neutral grey, sorry, on the undersides. The um, I'm not sure whether the uh, the yellow stripes are a decal. Yeah, they are. Um, so the, the striping on the on the wings and also on the the top of the fin there um, that they are decals um, I can't quite tell whether I used them or whether I just masked off and then painted the stripes but anyway that's possibly quite a good thing because if you can't tell they're a decal then yeah um, <laughs> That must be one point to me um again easy build and uh, just a, an interesting uh, variation of the p47 bubble top um to have in the collection now i know that you guys are probably aware there are other companies that have produced uh, 172nd p47s i think asago have um certainly academy have uh and again what i would have liked to have done is, is perhaps shown you the 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 dual builds or the uh, different builds you could get from those box sets i don't think i've actually um built the um the academy uh what, I'm, what i mean is i may have built one from the box but i haven't built the second one from the box what i have done is added aftermarket decals to some of the some of the kits like i've mentioned before so what i may do in future is just have a like a p47 selection and we'll just go through and see which ones i've got 
anyway i hope you um, enjoyed this video and uh, if you did then i would appreciate if you would subscribe and perhaps have a look at some of the other ones and again um thanks for watching